Hey, remember in this video when I said that the next three videos would not be robot related? Well, freak that, we're building a robot today. Let's get on with the video. So, I was on video chat with my cousin Wesley the other day, and he was complaining about how he couldn't find his back scratcher. I, being the person I am, said, hey, I could just build you a robot that scratches your back for you, but he was just like, no thanks, I'll just, I'll just find my back scratcher. But uh, today we're going to disregard what he said and build one anyway. Let's go. So the first thing I did was buy a bunch of cheap Chinese servo motors on Amazon. Uh, there will be links in the description for all the parts I use in this build in case you want to do it at home. Next I assembled the servos and hooked them up to my circuit board. I ended up with this monstrosity which kind of looks like Cthulhu but that's besides the point. Here I have 10 servos connected to a PCA9685 16 channel servo controller which is then connected to my Raspberry Pi 4. The Raspberry Pi itself can only control about three servos at once but what this little board does is take PWM signals from the Raspberry Pi which is the type of signal you use to move servos and it splits them up into 16 different channels. This allows you to control up to 16 servos at once with a single board. The way the pins are situated on the board also makes it very easy to connect servos. It's just powered by a regular 5 volt battery pack. Now let's hop onto the Raspberry Pi desktop and run our test code. So here I am on the Raspberry Pi. I have Thawney open, which is the program I use to code. This is going to be a lot of nerd talk, so if you want to skip the coding portion of this video entirely, go to this timestamp. Okay, so right here I have all my code pulled up. The first thing I did, of course, was import my libraries. The main library I used in this project was the Adafruit Servo Kit library. It's made specifically for controlling the PCA9685, and it's very convenient because it allows you to just input the angle that you want the servo to go to, and it goes there without any jitter or hesitation, so that's very nice. Uh, here I'm going to go ahead and run a couple tests. I actually have two test scripts written, so let's go ahead and run our code. Okay, so that seemed to work pretty darn well, so let's move on to our other code. Alright, everything seems to be working properly, so now we can work on our final code. So I've spent the last half hour or so hammering out the rest of the code for the robot. Uh, right here, of course, I've imported my libraries, uh, Adafruit, Servo Kit, and Time. And then I also imported a new library called GPIO0, which allows me to control a bunch of different hardware, including a button. So now I've made it so that, while true, if a button is pressed, then it runs the code. This will make uh, it a lot easier to use because you won't need to actually click run on a monitor for it to start. Uh, and then at the bottom here, I've got like 400 lines of code. Uh, yeah, so if it's not, then it will print not. So it's pretty simple code. All these right here are just the different servo angles. They make a bunch of different patterns to scratch your back. So, you know, that's very, very snazzy. So now that all the software for the robot is done, we can work on the hardware and assembling everything together, and then we will test our final code. The first thing I did was take a measurement of my back using a tape measure. I ended up with 9 inches by 17 inches. I cut out a piece of plywood with the corresponding dimensions and attached all 10 servos to it, as well as my two circuit boards and battery pack. I used wood rather than a 3D printed platform for this build because it's way faster than waiting several hours for a 3D print to finish. Now that all the software and hardware for the robot is done, we can go ahead and test it. I think I'm going to test it on myself first just to make sure everything's working. As you can see right here, I've got everything set up. The code is already running, so I'm just going to press this button and the servo should move. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and sit down. Ah, buttons right here on the side. Ooh, ooh, oh, I like it. It feels good. Now it is a little bit sharp, so I'll probably drape like a sheet over it so that it uh, doesn't poke you as much. But it feels good. I like it. Now that we know that everything is functioning properly and the code is working, we can go test it on some uh, 
outside volunteers. Hey Jojo, will you help me test my new robot? <sighs> when will you learn? Is that a grenade? Yep. Okay, let's go. Oh, come, come on, come on. Just, just, just go ahead and sit down. It's, uh, it's a little sharp, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a sheet on it. Wait, did you just say it's sharp? Yeah, don't, don't worry about it. All right, let's, let's just kind of. It's actually pretty soothing. Yeah. yeah. Unless it like Ow. catches on fire, which it did do earlier. So what do you think about the robot? It's pretty good. It feels nice, except it does stab you in the back and that hurts a lot. What? Would you, would you care to like maybe, um, yeah, like, rephrase that a little bit? Or, uh... It's great! Hold it right there. Don't click off yet. I have a very special offer that you will not be able to refuse. Introducing the brand new Back Scratcher 3000 Portable Edition. This simple and easy to use robot could be yours today for only three easy payments of $29.99. All it requires is four AA batteries to operate. When it's turned on, it's already in manual mode, where turning the dial right here controls the two servos, which will be used to scratch your back. Press the button twice for hands-free automatic mode. But wait, there's more. If you order in the next 15 minutes, I'll throw in a free Elmer's glue stick, jumbo sized. We only have a couple of these in stock, so buy them while you can. And remember, if you don't subscribe to my channel, I'll 3D print a flamethrower. And remember, if you don't subscribe to my channel, I'll 3D print a flamethrower and burn your house down. Bye.